Hi guys, welcome to Brains and the Beat. If you're new here, please like, comment, share, and subscribe. And if you're old but goody, thank you for staying tuned to your girl. Okay, if you're new, please like, comment, share, and subscribe. And if you're old but goody, hit that so hit that notification bell to keep up to date with all my videos. And if you guys don't know from the whole thing that happened in Rio last year with the hotel employee raping uh tourists they're warning local resorts about being sued okay and it's about time that these resorts be held accountable they have funds that they put away just for things like this to happen so it's about time they are held accountable for their actions and for the actions of the people that they hire so it says local tourism interests have been warned by the U.S.-based attorney that there has been an increasing number of assault, rape, negligence, and personal injury cases being filed against Caribbean resorts in federal court in the United States with a heavy focus on Jamaica. Florida-based Jamaican-American attorney at law, Michael Morgan, who specializes in commercial, general, and liability cases, made the claim while addressing a business seminar that was held last week at Sandals Montego Bay. Morgan, who manages the state and federal lawsuits on behalf of corporates, said Jamaica tourism interests should be concerned by the development. There has been considerable growth in the number of lawsuits that have been filed against Jamaica-based hospitality industry resorts in the United States Federal Court. Morgan told attendees at the seminar, which was aimed at educating local tourism and casino industry interests on liability and business operation issues associated with providing services to visitors, in particular residents of the United States. Morgan explained why U.S. citizens who choose to file suits against Jamaican businesses in the United States as opposed to Jamaica where the injury or other matter occurred, according to her, most U.S. based attorney will take a personal injury case on a contingency fee agreement, meaning there is no upfront or out-of-pocket cost for the plaintiff okay so these lawyers are taking these cases because they know there's a strong possibility they're going to get a settlement and they're going to get a lot of money okay so the the plaintiff don't have to put out any out-of-pocket costs up front they're gonna do it free of charge other factors include the length of time the U.S. allows the complainant to bring a suit, the right to an injury trial in the United States, and the award of damages in the U.S., which Morgan said are usually exponential for the type of injury claims that arise. Morgan explained further that there is no cap on the amount of damages that can be awarded in the United States and the loser is not required to pay as in that country each parties bear their own cost. These are some of the issues that are important to recognize as a Jamaican resort or hospitality industry beneficiary to understand why a United States citizen try to sue your corporation in the United States rather than on the island, said Morgan. The attorney noted that a further devast a further disadvantage for Jamaica when cases are litigated in the United States is the cost. She pointed out that personal injury cases can last five to eight years, during which the time the defendant resort could be faced with legal fees costing between US $300 and $600 per hour. In the end, such cases could cost two or three times the amount they would cost if they were legitimated in Jamaica. Of note is Sanders has never passed three weeks being forced to defend itself in the media against claims that it has covered up or has attempted to cover up cases of sexual assault against American visitors to its resource. In November, an article carried by the USA Today inflicted a major black eye on the country's tourism product as it may a lightning sexual assault cases against Jamaican resorts including sandals. Jamaica tourism product is now undergoing a sec 
Jamaica Tourism Product is now undergoing a security audit. According to the statement from Tourism Minister Ed Edward Barrett on Monday, Jamaica is committed to creating a new way forward and architecture as it relates to visitor safety and security. This exercise of reviewing our security arrangements with the view to improve the infrastructure is not a knee-jerk reaction because the whole business of safety and security is fundamental to tourism, Bartlett said. So basically, they're saying that they are in the United States, they're suing these resorts um, because it's more expensive for them and it's going to cost more out of pocket for them. And honestly, I feel like it's about time that these companies be held accountable for their employees action and for also their negligence most of the time because a lot of these employees that rape people or stick up people or whatever the case may be are people that have criminal backgrounds are people that are not supposed to be hired and they hire them and this is the result so what are your thoughts on it do you think they're just doing it for the money and they want money from these resorts because they're rich or they want to get rich from these cases or do you think that these resorts need to be held accountable or all of the above like comment share and subscribe and i'll see you in the next one deuces